Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be talking about edge loops and edge rings. Now, this is a very important concept when you start getting into retopology, but it's also super important for mesh modeling because it allows you to deform entire sections of edges or faces with one motion. What is an edge loop? Well, an edge loop is just a continuous path of edges. And you can select an edge loop by hitting Alt and then left clicking on an edge or a vertex. If you select and you're above the vertex, it'll try to do the edge loop there. If you're to the right, it'll try to do the one there. But uh, it will select a continuous path of edges. Now here's the thing. What is a continuous path of edges as defined by Blender? Well, Blender defines a continuous path of edges as every edge where each vertex is connected by four edges. So you can, if we count them, you'll see one, two, three, and four along this vertex. You'll also see that same thing on these, uh, and then we'll just erase these annotation marks, but you can see that all the way around. So this is a continuous path of edges according to Blender. But if we select the one all the way up at the top, what you'll notice is it does not go all the way. If we look at the top, or if we were to look at the bottom, what you would see is that it selects the entire path of edges, uh, and then when it reaches a vertex that is that does not meet the requirement of having four edges, it stops its selection. So down here at the bottom, it's no longer selecting, and up here at the top, it would no longer select. Uh, and that's because the continuous path is broken by these uh, middle vertices here in the center of our cup and at the base of our stand. All right, so that's edge loops. Once you select an entire edge loop, let's say we wanted to scale maybe this part of the uh, the cup out, right? We could, we could scale it out uniformly. Uh, if we wanted to move this up, we could then use our edge slide tool, select the entire thing. Where's our edge slide? Use our edge slide tool and slide that edge up a little bit. We could also then scale that to give ourselves more of a uniform shape, do the same thing here, scale it up, or slide it up and then scale it up, and now our cup has changed shape all the way around on this edge loop. So edge loops are super important. Uh, we'll cover them again in our retopology course, but for now, that's how they work. Now while an edge loop is a continuous path of connected edges, an edge ring is a continuous path of parallel edges. Now, parallel edges are not necessarily geometrically parallel, right? If we were to take these edges to their logical conclusion and say, all right, somewhere down here, all right, they're not actually parallel, but according to Blender, these lines are never going to touch and they're on opposite sides of a face, so they're going to get marked as parallel. And you can select edge rings by holding Control alt and then left-clicking on an edge. And what it will do is it will select an entire path of parallel edges for you. Now, this is basically face loop select, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But what selecting an edge ring does is it allows you to manipulate all of the faces attached to here rather than simply having to select a loop at a time. So we can scale all the faces up, or we can rotate them all, or what have you. You could basically do any transform on these. You could even extrude these if you wanted to um, and just create a bunch of faces coming off, but uh, we're not going to do that. So that's the edge ring select, control, alt, and then left click on an edge. Now edge rings are basically face loops, and so uh, what is a face loop? Well, a face loop is essentially an edge ring. It's a continuous path of faces. So the way that we do that is we switch into face select mode and we hold alt and then click on a face or actually an edge of a face. And then what will happen is it will select the path of parallel faces. So then we could do this and select that one and then hold shift and select uh, this edge and then grab all of these. Now with the edge loops, and edge rings, you can select multiple edge loops, edge rings, or face loops by holding the shift key as you use the alt select. Um, or with edge rings, right, we switch into edge select and control alt uh, one, shift and grab another one, shift and grab another one. All of that is okay. We do the same thing uh, with the face select. So select a face, grab one, also grab this one. 
Uh, now this can be a little finicky depending on which uh, edge you select, but it's basically going to work for you. Now if you forget any of these hotkeys, you can always go up to the select menu up here at the top, hit select, and then select loops, and then choose either edge loops or edge rings based on what you want. So if we have one edge selected, let's grab this one, and we'll switch to our selection tool. So we just have this edge selected, hit select, and then edge loop, and it will go ahead and select the entire path of edges around the cup. All right, that's basically all you need to know about face loops, edge loops, and edge rings and how to select them. And that's just gonna let you edit your models a little bit faster so you don't have to do face by face. You can do chunk by chunk. I'm Sir Pinkbeard and I will see you in the next video.